Hey Resonators, so here's a compilation video of some of my most controversial MIB a-hole stories. So listen to these stories and you be the judge. So this first one is a hard listen, so let me know what you guys think. Am I wrong for refusing to leave the room when my husband told me to? My husband's best friend, which is a female, got the news that her dog has cancer just days ago. My husband would call her every day till yesterday when she visited. I opened the door for her, greeted her, then led her to the living room and went into the kitchen to get a glass of water after my husband asked me to. I came back and didn't find them in the living room. Turns out they went into the guest room and the door was shut. I heard weeping and sobbing sounds coming from inside. I started to knock, but when I got no answer, I went in and found them embracing each other while she was crying. I stood by the door, but my husband paused and told me to give them a minute. I gotta say that I did not feel comfortable with his request, so I remained just standing there in the doorway. He got up and started repeatedly telling me to get out. I told him that it's my house and he can't tell me where I can and can't go. He got angry and told me to get out and we'll talk later, but I refused. He asked what was wrong with me for not seeing how tense the situation was and not just giving them their privacy. I told him that they did not need to shut the door for any reason, no matter what it is. We argued and she ended up leaving. He blew up at me afterwards, calling me unbelievable and saying that I have no respect for him and his friend, who's actually going through a really hard time right now. He said it was ridiculous that I refused to give them privacy. I told him how weird it was for them to shut the door just because they were crying. He told me that I was petty and overbearing to act like this in front of her and from stopping him from showing the true support that he wanted to. Now he's gone completely radio silent and is acting like I kicked her out or treated her poorly. For context, I'm 26 female, she's 28 female, and he's 31 male. She's been his best friend slash sister for over eight plus years. She tends to be very emotional and highly sensitive and we don't get along because she tends to be a boundary stomper and she does and says things that make me feel like I don't know my husband as much as she does. And on top of that, she's always comparing us. Initially, I didn't want her to come over, but my husband called and asked her to. Okay guys, so this story always gets me so mad because yes, I do think that it was super weird that the wife stood there and watched them in the doorway, but this husband and his friend are completely out of line in my opinion. I mean, they sent her off to go get water and then when she came back, they were in the bedroom with the door closed. I totally understand not wanting to cry in front of people that you don't know very well, but there's no reason to be in a bedroom with the door closed. The husband clearly values his friendship with that woman over his wife's feelings. So for me, I have to give him a seven out of 10 a-hole rating just for being so disrespectful to his wife. For the friend, I'm gonna give her a four out of 10 because I understand that she's going through some stuff, but you don't go running to a married man and completely disrespect his wife like that. And for OP, I do have to give her a three out of 10 a-hole rating because it is kind of weird that she was standing in the doorway. I mean, if I felt like they were being weird, I would have just walked away and talked to his ass about it later. Because honestly, I wouldn't trust their friendship if they're gonna go behind closed doors to comfort each other. So you guys have to let me know what a-hole ratings you would give all of them on a scale of one to 10. And here is the second in my a-hole story. Let me know what you think about this one. Would I be the asshole if I don't go to my daughter's wedding? About 10 years ago, a close friend of our daughter's came out as gay. This friend in particular slept over our house so much that she was almost like a daughter to us. We even had a separate bed in our daughter's bedroom just for her. When we found out that she was gay, my husband and I had a discussion about whether we should continue to let her sleep in our daughter's bedroom or if we should just move her into the guest bedroom. We were hesitant, but we had a conversation with our daughter who was 17 at the time and she told us that if her friend tried anything, she would shut it down because she is straight. It made sense. We believed our daughter was trustworthy and responsible, and so we allowed the friend to continue sleeping in her room. Nothing seemed out of the ordinary. They finished senior year and went off to college. We never suspected anything. Every time they would come home for the holidays, my daughter brought a boy with her, and my daughter's friend brought a girl with her. Come to find out that the boy that we thought was our daughter's boyfriend was actually dating the girl that we thought our daughter's friend was dating. And the way we found out is because one day I get an invitation in the mail to a wedding for our daughter and her friend. I was so confused. I called my daughter immediately, thinking that there has to be some kind of typo or something. There was no answer. I called the friend and I asked her, what's going on? Before the friend breaks down crying and confesses that her and my daughter have been in a relationship for a decade. 
which was around the time that we agreed to let her sleep in our daughter's room. My husband and I feel so betrayed. My daughter then gets on the phone and says, Mom, Dad, I know you're upset and I promise we'll talk about it after the wedding and I'll explain everything. I said, okay, we'll talk after the wedding and then I hung up. The next day she calls me, I pick up and say, why are you calling me? I thought you didn't want to talk to me until after the wedding. She said, we are, but I wanted to know what times you'll be available so that we can get measured for our dresses. I said, what do you mean we? You don't think that your father and I are going to the wedding, do you? You lied to us for 10 years for no reason. And you expect us to just automatically disregard that? We'll talk after the wedding, like you said. Then I hung up the phone and I haven't talked to my daughter since then. And the wedding is sometime this month. My husband and I have been getting a lot of calls from family members on both sides telling us that we're being selfish for ruining our daughter's special day over something that happened 10 years ago. But she lied to us and I am not gonna let that go. Does that make me an asshole? Okay, as a mother, yeah, it kinda does make you an a-hole. Now, I have to say that in my opinion, everyone in this whole story kinda sucks a little bit. The mom, the dad, and the daughter. Because although I do think that it's pretty messed up for the parents to hold a grudge and to refuse to go to their daughter's wedding, it is so messed up that she lied to them about it for 10 years. The parents had every right to feel uncomfortable about their daughter sharing a room with a friend when she came out. Now, I'm not saying that every lesbian likes all girls, but I am saying that that friend did end up liking their daughter. And I know as a mom, I would not have my daughter sharing a room with somebody that she's dating as a teenager, no matter what their gender is. That would just be irresponsible on the parents' part. So I assume that I'm gonna get a bunch of hate for saying this, but I think that the daughter's a-hole rating on a scale of one to 10 is seven, because you don't lie to your parents about something like that for 10 years. Once she moved out, she had no excuse not to tell them the truth. The mom and the dad, I'm gonna give them an a-hole rating of eight out of 10 because even though the daughter lied to them, there's no reason to refuse to go to her wedding after that. Especially not if they value their relationship with their daughter. Although I would probably expect an apology from my daughter for lying to me for 10 years. So you guys let me know what a-hole rating you would give all of them on a scale of one to 10. And here is the final story. Am I the asshole for going home after I overheard my husband say that he didn't want to bring me with him to his family vacation? My husband goes on annual vacations with his family. I'm on okay terms with his family, but since we've only been married for a short time, I don't see them very much. We still have that barrier that keeps us from being completely comfortable around each other. His family arranged for the vacation last week. Out of curiosity, I asked if I could come. My husband felt hesitant, but I told him that it would be a great opportunity to get to know his family better. He agreed to take me and his family were surprised to see me, but still welcomed me. On the third day of the vacation, his dad, mom, and brothers and their spouses were all sitting at a table outside talking while I was preparing a fruit salad. As I was making my way back, I overheard my mother-in-law say, does she really have nowhere else to spend the weekend? At first, I had no idea who she was talking about, so I just kept walking. But I stopped dead in my tracks once I overheard my husband say, I know, and I didn't want to bring her with me, but what else was I supposed to do? You know how pushy she can get. I instantly realized that they were talking about me. I felt so shaken up to the point where I almost dropped the salad. This whole time I was there, I cooked, cleaned, looked after the kids, and this is how they think of me? An inconvenience to them? I quietly booked a ticket and went home on the first plane. He called and texted me and I didn't respond with anything other than to let him know that I was home. When he got back, he went off on me saying how disrespectful and juvenile it was that I left. I told him that I overheard the conversation that he had with his mom, but he said that I was wrong for eavesdropping and that his family will warm up to me on their terms, so I need to stop being so pushy around them. He said that it's not their fault that they feel uncomfortable around me. Basically, he was saying that it was my fault for coming along in the first place. He said that going home like that made him and his family really disappointed in me and gave them a really bad impression about me. I think I might have messed up and I honestly think I ruined it for them as well. Am I the asshole? My first question is, does the husband even like his wife? Like, who talks about his wife like that behind her back? Asshole. Also, that whole family must be really disrespectful for them to have a family vacation and invite everybody except for her. 
Why did they exclude her? I'm really curious. All I know is that she did nothing wrong by leaving and I feel so bad for this woman. If I heard my husband talking about me like that with his family behind my back, it would be over. So on this story, I literally hate the husband. So for his a-hole rating on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give him mm, a nine. I wanna give him a 10, but you know there's some people that do worse things than this. To be honest, I wanna give his whole family a nine because they suck. Just plain old disrespectful. And obviously an OP is a zero out of 10 a-hole because she did nothing wrong. So you guys tell me what a-hole rating would you give them on a scale of one to 10? Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this controversial compilation video. I'll be making more of these coming up soon in the future. So stay tuned, make sure you like, follow, and subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next video. Deuces.